Welcome to Anglin Adventures. Uh, it's now mid-March and it is absolutely freezing. Um, in this particular video I'm going to be targeting roach. Uh, the water I'm fishing is an old clay pit reservoir of just over six and a half acres. I'm not sure what features are out there if any. I was a member a couple of years ago. Um, I didn't get to fish it as much as I would have liked uh, due to work commitments and other stuff. Um, I think that the only two times I did manage to fish it, I had a lot of perch, the odd bream, but I didn't get amongst any roach. Um, I'm hoping to beat my personal best roach, which currently stands at two pound one ounces. This reservoir is the home to some massive roach, so uh, fingers crossed we'll bring a couple to the camera. As it's pretty slow today, and it's a bit of a trial and error session, I'm just gonna run you through my rig. Uh, reel wise I'm using a small Shimano 4000 bait runner loaded with six pound Guru line. Uh, the rod of choice is a Drennan Series 7 11 foot specialist Avon quiver one and a quarter pound. I'm using the Avon tip. Um, I'm using a Corum adjustable honey kit. Uh, the feeder I'm using is a Drennan 35 gram uh, feeder bomb. I'm using a £5.6 fluorocarbon hook length, that's a Drennan Suplex. Uh, the hook is a Aguru in a size size 14, mounted with three mags. I did um, pick the brains of uh, certain Phil Spinks for this roach fishing. He's had many a big fish, so um, I think his advice today would have been stay in bed because that is freezing. Although he did say the colder the better, and believe me that don't get much colder than this. So I'm going to load my feeder up and chuck it back out there. Well, I just got a bite out of the blue. Um, it's not the biggest roach by this place, place's standards, but uh, I just weighed it. And a uh, nice roach of one pound four ounces. What a start. Well, second fish of the session. Um, over the moon is an understatement. I've managed to beat my PB. Uh, two pounds, three ounces. Very lively. Very pretty roach. Totally made up with this one. Two pounds, three ounces. Over the moon. Boy, I'm not gonna put him back. Brilliant. It's made my day there. Excellent. It's not turning in to be a bad day at all in these terrible conditions. I had my third fish of the session, third roach. And uh, this one weighing one pound six ounces. Not bad for the first attempt really. Like I say, I had a couple of goes a couple of year ago, different time of year altogether, and my approach was all wrong, but like I say, I got some advice and a few pointers, and I seem to be paying off. Uh, so one pound six over the moon. Let's hope it continue. Well, I'm back again on the reservoir. Um, that's a completely different contrast to what it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, as you can see, that's dead calm. Um, I'm, I'm surprised there isn't hardly anybody here, to be honest with you. There's, there's another angler on the, um, I should imagine they call it the south bank. Um, I'm on the east bank. Um, this is where I had the fish uh, a couple of weeks ago. But there was a couple of fish rolling out there earlier, so um, fingers crossed might bring uh, another fish to the camera. 
I'm fishing in about 30 foot of water. So I'm, um, there's quite a bit of tow on here. So I'm doing a bit of a regular recasting, sort of about every half hour. Just try to get my bait to go in a sort of an area and hopefully draw a couple of fish in. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Fishing about 60 yards out. Got a tree as a target on the far bank. I'm using that. Just hit the clip nicely there. That's in the spot. Still deep. The other week when I was doing this, my hands were freezing waiting for the bait to hit the bottom. That's just no hit. I've just got to sink the line, and that take about another minute or two. <laughs> Well, the snow clouded over a bit now. Um, hopefully that's going to improve my chances. I've been here fishing a couple of hours. Had a couple of bleeps, but didn't develop into anything. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away and see, uh, see what happens. Well, it's now Easter Sunday. Um, I'm fishing a completely different area today. It's very overcast. There's a slope breeze coming from the north. I've seen a couple of fish uh, roll on the surface out there, which did resemble roach. So um, let's just hope they're on the feed. Just had a little bit of an inquiry on um, my left hand rod. I had a couple of beeps, then a then a drop back, and it didn't really lead to nothing. But um, two maggots had gone off my hook, so uh, this regular recasting could bring some fish in the area. So fingers crossed, get some action. Fishing about 40 yards, sort of fishing off the off the edge of the bank really, I suppose, I suppose from the edge of that bank over there, that's probably um, 20 yards, so it's probably at the bottom of a slope, that don't feel quite as deep as the other rods, so um, keep plugging away. See what we can get. Well, I've got a fish on. That's on the same rod I got an inquiry on. Feels okay. Hello. It's hard to tell. It's definitely a root. Oh, I look a decent fish. Very nice fish. Very nice fish indeed.
uh, lovely in this clear water. Beautiful. Nice one. I'll just get this sorted out. We got what we came for. Beautiful root, weighing two pounds exactly. Now that is a lovely fish. I'm now gonna slip him back. Beautiful. This place has got some amazing fishing. Over the moon, over the moon. I was on the rod I had in quarry on earlier, so let's get him back. Slipping back. What a lovely fish. What a beautiful fish. So, but continue. Wow. I'm into my second fish. Don't feel too bad. And then I had a couple of bleeps on it and there. Uh, I thought I was a little fish moving in the swim because the first two rods went. But this don't feel too bad. Give them a good account of itself. Seems like another nice roach. Oh yes. And as big as the other one. I don't think. <laughs> Lovely. Well, it's another lovely, lovely roach. One pound seven. I think there might be a few fish moving in the area. I don't give it the kiss of death, but I'll get him back and find out. My third, third take, feels like another decent roach. Hello, that's hard to tell because I think I swim towards me, I don't actually feel that big actually. That's a sure enough bite anyway, if anything else. I ain't seen it yet. Oh. Oh, that ain't a bad fish at all. Another. Go to me over rods. It's going quite well. Drag me up a line. Let's just get the net under it. Lovely. I'll sort that out in a minute. Excellent, excellent. Another nice fish. Well, another crack and root. Number fish number three. And this one's go one pound eleven. Oh well, sun has come out. And some fish have come out to play as well. Excellent. They're going to put them back. Lovely. Just as good as catching them. Releasing them back. One pound eleven. Lovely. Look at that. Well, that's pretty much it for my roach fishing. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I managed to squeeze in four sessions before the tench fishing start. 
Uh, I'm really pleased on how it's gone. I managed a PB of two pound three ounces. I've had another two pounder today. I've had a few fish over the pound. Um, I will be back sort of late summer, early autumn for another go for these roach. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll catch you again soon.